Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and we're also going to have a look where the CMEs closed yesterday because we are in the weekend so we have play time. Traditional markets are closed so Bitcoin is at his own and that's why uh, let's see what could happen during this weekend and I also want to show you a very interesting uh, fractal that I found in the daily time frame that maybe could suggest that we're gonna see new all-time highs in the Bitcoin price towards the end of March. So let's start here first in the four hour time frame because yesterday I told you that here most likely we're gonna have a bounce at the 200 moving average. We also had a buy signal in the three hour time frame in my indicator because uh, this is the time frame that usually we are trading uh, this indicator. So congratulations if you took this long opportunity. I also told you that watch mm -hmm. out here for this possible rejection here at the previous support trend line which now could be acting as a new resistance here at around $49,800 and yesterday we had a four hour close above the 20 moving average I went also live over on Twitch so shout out to everyone that watched the live stream over on the Twitch if you don't have yet a Twitch account make sure that you sign up there and also follow me over there because I'm planning to do more often live streams also on Twitch so make sure to join my channel also over there the link is down below in the video description and uh, we pointed out yesterday that here we could face some resistance and since I'm not expecting here a huge breakout to the upside yet we could start to trade sideways here or uh, get rejected here and then fall all over again again towards here this uh, 46 to 47 thousand dollar before we gear up here for a final move to break this resistance and go towards 56 thousand dollar and create a support above 52 thousand because this is so far our resistance so we have to switch it back into support in order to see continuation to the upside and this is what we're not seeing right now so yesterday we felt again below the 20 moving average in the four hour we didn't confirm it as a support and right now you can see that we're squeezing between the, the nine moving average and the 20 moving average in the four hour and we just have to wait where we're going to close uh, a four hour candle below the nine moving average or above the 20 moving average in order to see where we potentially gear up here during this weekend maybe we could go up here to retest this 50 K area during this weekend. This is what I think will happen because the lower time frames, especially here, the four hour, three hour, and mm. also if we go over into the one hour time frame, it looks like that right now we are building up support here above the 200 moving average, and we could gear up here for a retest of this uh, 50K, which in my opinion will happen during this weekend. So I'm most likely gonna open up a little uh, long position again as soon as I'm getting another uh, good buy signal here in the lower time frames like the 15 minute. This is also the time frame that you can use here in uh, Discord if you're trading here with my own indicator. And um, just to ride it up here towards 50K and they're most likely gonna use another stop loss uh, to lock in some profits. I don't think that we're gonna break it, but if we're gonna break it, then you have already a nice entry uh, down here. And I know there are some um, chances that we are creating here a head and shoulders pattern that we could maybe have here the left shoulder, then here the head and here the right shoulder. And then of course, uh, if we will break out here to the downside, we will go towards uh, 44, potentially even lower towards $41,000. And that is possible. Uh, usually I don't like to trade head and shoulders pattern because they're very hard to trade and uh, they only are valid once they already are broken out. So it's very hard to trade them. And uh, of course that is possible. It is very, very likely that we still have to go down to test the 50 daily moving average, same as we did also in the last correction. That's why I also want to show you why we could see a new all-time high towards the end of the month and not earlier. Um, because there is still a high chance that we have to come down here to test the 50 daily moving mm -hmm. average, same like we did here in this correction from 42,000 down to $29,000. Mm -hmm. 
and then uh, finally uh, we had this final bounce here and then continued our uptrend so it is possible that the, that we still have to see that that we still have to come down here to test the support and the 50 daily moving average right at forty two thousand four hundred dollar and then finally have this big bounce that we are waiting now to then uh, take out this all-time high and go towards our bullish targets between 75 to 100 k so the good thing is that uh, we had now uh, closes above the nine daily moving average and you can see that this moving average is turning into green but only if also today and of course all the next coming days we're gonna stay above the nine daily moving average at least close daily candles above the nine daily moving average which currently is here at forty eight thousand dollar and yeah we still are getting some resistance here at the 20 daily moving average here at 50k so that's why in my opinion we most likely gonna start to trade sideways here maybe even have some weeks to the downside here towards the 50 daily moving average but overall i still think this is a bullish reset and uh, finally after this correction is completed we're gonna then continue to go towards uh, 58 000 dollar and also break this all-time high that we have at the moment uh, this is not looking like this is the cycle top my friends that's why i'm still expecting here huge continuations to the upside and anyway the target is to reach levels way above 100k in my opinion more towards the end of this year so if we would see in the next coming weeks or months uh, like a blow off top towards 100k that could be maybe a good time to take some profits uh, because in that case i think we are too early um, reaching 100k and then we maybe could see a little bear market like a massive drop towards like 30 or 20 thousand dollar and if you took out profits at uh, let's say 70 to 100k you have enough cash on the sideline to buy the dip if we're gonna see somehow such a crash but this is just my theory if we're gonna see here a blow off top towards 100k already now like march april or may because in my opinion we are still too early to reach these targets also based on the stock to flow model price we should be reaching 100k towards september and november of this year and not already now so if we are too fast going up then i think we could see a major crash after reaching uh, those bullish targets but right now i don't think that we will see such a massive uh, correction maybe some sideways movements here some pullbacks but this doesn't look like that uh, here we're gonna see a further bigger correction so i think latest here at forty two thousand five hundred dollar we should have a big bounce to the upside the risk is of course still here that if we're gonna uh, fall here below the nine weekly moving average at forty two thousand dollar that we could reach here the 20 weekly moving average at thirty thousand but i still think that is very unlikely and now since we are in the daily time frame I want to show you a very interesting um, fractal because let's assume that we're gonna exactly copy here um, this correction that we did here from 42,000 down to $28,000. So this is just a theory, it's just a fractal, it's just speculation, it doesn't mean that it has to happen like that. But let's assume that we're gonna take exactly the same time and we're gonna move more or less the same so we can copy this price movement from the top that we had here at forty two thousand dollar until this top that we had over here at um what is it uh, fifty eight thousand dollar i don't know why now this is a little bit offset but uh, this is exactly the movements that we have done here like this you can see here the candles this blue color and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this fractal over here exactly at the top voila like this maybe even if we would put it here it would make a little bit more sense so if we're gonna repeat exactly the the same thing like we did over here so the same correction and also the same time period you can see that we would take out this all-time high here of 58 thousand dollar at around the end of march so the 23rd of march and then we're gonna continue to go higher here create new all-time highs every day and at the end we could maybe see a top here at around eighty thousand dollar which is also coinciding with our bullish targets of this possible uh, recovery here after this correction so i think that between 75 to 100k 
uh, is a very realistic price level to be reached if uh, we are not falling below the 50 daily moving average. And you can see that this fractal here, if we would exactly copy what we did over here, we would have a bounce here or a double bottom formation right at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at 40k. So that would mean that we could fall here below the 50 daily moving average, but if here we would see a bounce here at 40k, right at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement based on the top that we had at 58,000 and uh, here the bottom of $28,000, then of course this would be very bullish and this uh, will be a very he healthy correction and a healthy bounce, which in my opinion will take us then at least towards this $80,000, potentially even 100K. And that's why my friends, that is a very interesting fractal that I wanted to show you because it's not only showing maybe more or less where we could be heading to if we take out $58,000, but also when we can take out $58,000. And also it tells us that we still could trade sideways here, maybe have some more dumps here towards our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is very, very important for Bitcoin. Bitcoin likes very much to always retrace to this uh, price level, to this retracement after a parabolic move to the upside because Bitcoin usually moves very fast to the upside then consolidate or have a healthy pullback down to this important fib line and then have a big bounce to the upside and continue to go uh, towards new all-time highs so that is a very interesting fractal let me know in the comment section my friends what do you think about that do you think that we're gonna reach new all-time highs in uh, March in my opinion it is very likely and uh, also it shows here that we might be not over yet with a correction and we could still come down here towards uh, 44 to 40 thousand dollar and that's why if we are coming down to those levels uh, take it as a good um, buy and long opportunity and now we can go over to the cme chart because the, we close the cmes at 49 thousand five hundred dollar so wherever the price is going during the weekend i'm expecting uh, on a monday as soon as the cmes are starting to trade again um, to come back to this uh, price level and you can see that we here already closed this weekly candle above the previous uh, close so last week we closed here at uh, 46,500 and uh, this week we closed uh, already uh, more bullish we closed with a higher high and that of course uh, is in favor for the bulls and we should expect here of course continuation to the upside so we could see something similar like this correction we came back down here to the nine weekly moving average similar like we are seeing right now and then we continued our uptrend so the cme is closed very bullish and i'm expecting here the spot market to close uh, also more or less at those levels here and uh, if we're gonna see somehow a dump or a pullback down towards the nine weekly moving average let's say here between 44 to forty thousand dollar, take it as a good buy and long opportunity because most likely on monday we're gonna come back where we close the CMEs here at around 49,500. And now we can also have a look into the Ethereum price because Ethereum here also could be forming uh, uh, some kind of inverse uh, head and shoulders pattern. It's not a good one, but yeah, it, it is possible, my friends. I just think that Ethereum will uh, follow um, Bitcoin wherever Bitcoin is going now. It's a bit lagging behind, but I think uh, as soon as we're going to see a big move in the Bitcoin price, also here in Ethereum, we're going to see the same thing. And uh, we can trade, of course, also Ethereum then based what uh, Bitcoin is doing. But overall, Ethereum, in my opinion, is also looking like that we could gear up here for a breakout to the upside to take out this resistance that we have currently here at around $1,600. We also had a buy signal here in the four hour time frame. Daily time frame is also looking a bit better than yesterday. We are turning into green here because we are closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average, same like in Bitcoin. And same like in Bitcoin, we have the 20 daily moving average here at 1,660 as our resistance. So yeah, once we're starting to close daily candles again above the 20 daily moving average, I'm expecting here continuation to the upside, same for Ethereum and of course also for Bitcoin. But as long as we're trading and closing candles below, I'm expecting here sideways or maybe even uh, some more pullbacks to the downside. And you should take this as a good buy and long opportunity. 
And at the end, I just want to show you quickly also the DXY because yesterday we had here a push to the upside towards $92.20. We got rejected at least for now. We had a little sell off because you can see here uh, in the three hour time frame, we got here a sell signal at the same time when Bitcoin had a buy signal. So it is possible that here we're going to see some more pushes to the downside, maybe to retest here these support at around 91 30, maybe even come down here towards $90.70. That is possible, but overall, I think that the move is not over yet for the DXY, even though we could come back down again. And that, of course, is in favor for the stock market and also for the crypto market. But overall, it looks like that the DXY want to continue here to test here this possible resistance that we have at $92. So very close to the 200 daily moving average up here at $93. So let's wait and see. In my opinion, here we are most likely getting rejected and then we will fall back down again. That's why I'm still very bullish here for the crypto market and also for the stock market, even though we're seeing the DXY pumping. But I don't think that this is going to be sustainable. The DXY is just having here kind of a dead cat bounce on a very important price level here um, at around $90. This acted in the past also as, as a support. And if we go even more back in time, you can see that also here it acted as a resistance. So this is kind of the last resort of the DXY of having a reversal. Of course, that is a bit bearish for the crypto market and stock market. Um, but overall, I don't think that this move is going to be sustainable. But we just need to wait and see what will happen once we are reaching here these $93. Uh, here, most likely, in my opinion, we are getting rejected. All right, my friends. So with that said, I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. I hope you like the content. If so, hit that like button, smash it. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also follow me over on Twitch. And if you want to join our great Discord trading chat, make sure to use the official link that you find in the video description. If you click here in this invitation link, you get into our great crypto chat. You, you have to go first then here to this read first channel. Click here the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access and you can write here in the chat. And if you want to see also my live stream of my indicator here showing Bitcoin in three time frames, uh, you have to send me a private message here because a little donation is needed to keep alive here the live stream. So you can contact me for this over on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.